I just won Best Realtor in my area. What's the best way for me to publicize this achievement? Here, here's the lesson. There's a lot of achievements out there. This is a great one. Take it and run with it, baby. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Any achievement any one of you get, whether it be in your office and you're the top producer for the month, or you're the up and comer, or you're the best of, whether it be in your town or whether it just be in your brokerage, promote it, baby, right? Promote, promote, promote. You have an opportunity to show that you're good, you're the best, you're the best out there, and you're doing well, promote it. Put it in your email signature. Let people know, hey, I got voted this. Put it on Facebook holding the award. Don't. Don't be the closet, I'm scared realtor, or don't be the undercover realtor. Be the, guess what? Here I am, I'm doing great. I'm bragging a little bit about myself. The problem is we all try to be this undercover realtor or we feel like it's too salesy to put it out there. Why should you feel that way? You just hit an achievement. You should be proud of yourself. And the people that you, you have in your sphere and on your Facebook friends and all of these folks, they should know about it as well. They should know that you're mover and shaker. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. I know that if I looked at some of your guys' Facebooks, I'd look and I'd say, is this person truly in real estate or are they not, right? And this is a reason to put on Facebook to let people know not only are you in real estate, but you're here to stay, baby, and you're doing great. And so I think what has to happen is we have to be able to put ourselves out there. And I think what we do is we find that we're so afraid because I don't want this person to think that. Guys, I, if I had that fear, none of these videos would be out, right? As much as I do care about your opinion, I'm gonna do me. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it out there, and I'm gonna tell you guys, and some of you are gonna love it, and quite frankly, some of you are gonna unlike me. And that's okay. I want the people who want this stuff, and you want the buyers and sellers who go, I knew I made a right decision with Amy, or I wanna be with her, or I want my sister to use her because my sister's getting a crappy experience from Bill over at this other company, right? They need to know about you know that you're in the real estate game and know that you're achieving something and you're successful. And so for you to not present it on Facebook, on Instagram if you have that, on all social medias, on, on your, your, your signature on your email, right? If they don't know about it and you're not promoting it there, they'll never know. And saying it when you meet them is just not good enough. And then it feels like it's salesy, right? And so, uh, I don't know, I hope that helps. I hope that gives you some inspiration. I hope it gives you some tactics. I think I did give you some. I know when I got my 30 under 30, I did all of that. Um, I did press releases as well because it was a little bit bigger. Um, you know, because I wanted it was national. I want to do a national press release. I put it in my listing presentations. I put it in my buyers presentations. There's so much things you should do. You should put that everywhere. It is an achievement, and you should not be ashamed about it. You should be proud, baby. Congrats. Mm -hmm.